So, are you thinking about taking a break this year, whether it's you and a friend or perhaps the whole family? Why not consider one of the most magical islands that Europe has to offer? The Maltese island of Gozo is packed full of culture, pristine blue waters and, I'm reliably informed, some rather tasty traditional cuisine. I've been joined in the studio today by a man who knows a thing or two about said island. It's Xavier Hancock. Lovely to have your company. Mm. Looking tanned <laughs> and relaxed yes. because, of course, you live on the island. I do indeed. So tell us about it. So Where is it? How many people live there? What sort of things can we do there? So it goes though is uh, the sister island of Malta and it's about 25 minutes away by ferry. It's a small island, nine miles by four by the crow flies and yeah, has a population of uh, 30,000 people approximately. Uh, things to be done there are wide ranging. I, it's, it's known as a place of, of being to go and being peaceful and relaxing. But in the last few years, that, that sort of mold has been changing and a lot mm -hmm. of other activities are, are sort of coming out. And you've got, in, you can split it sort of into two camps. You've got, you've got the winter and mid-season camp, and then you've got the summer uh, activities as well. In, in the, the winter and mid-season, the, the island is lush green and covered in wildflowers. And it's, it's a beautiful temperature for going uh, hiking and going mountain biking and also doing other things like uh, rock climbing is very much starting to grow and become more established on the island. And I understand it has become a sort of a mecca for diving as well. Yeah, th this is it. And uh, coming on to what we do in the summer, during during the summer months, the diving on the island is, is spectacular. I mean, it's also beautiful in the winter, but it's... it's uh, the, the diving is wide ranging. You've got um, beautiful dive sites at a point with the massive drop offs. You've got the Blue Hole, which is a world renowned dive site uh, near, located near the Azor window. And you drop through the hole, go into a drop off, it's got chimneys and, and lots of spectacular things to see. It sounds breathtaking, I have to say, but after all of that hard work, how can we unwind and relax? What sort of dining experiences can well, we expect? They have over 250 sort of restaurants and snack bars on the island, so there is a wide range of choice. Uh, you've got uh, farmhouses which are in little villages that are run by small families. You have the restaurants that are right on the water's edge and sort of looking over the beaches. Um, and they do a, a wide range of foods from the local snack bars all the way to a la carte. And uh, the local delicacies are delicious with rabbit and bragioli and uh, Italian influences. So pasta and um, pizzas are also very popular on the island. So I understand it's somewhere that's steeped in history. So you've got the beach side of things, you've got the good weather, you've got the beach, but actually there's so much to see. If you were going on a family holiday, everyone would be catered in some way. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the history of the island is incredibly diverse. Um, it's one of the most strategic islands in the Mediterranean. So uh, throughout the centuries, every major power has tried to uh, overthrow it and, and control the island. And uh, because of this, the history, it dates back to Neolithic times. It has the oldest freestanding temples in the world on the island. Um, it's also uh, a, quite a religious uh, country, and that makes it a, a beautiful place because it's, it's got good philosophies and, and uh, it's a very close family-knit sort of community. Fantastic. Xavier, thank you so much for painting such a vivid and beautiful <laughs> picture of this island. And thank you to you for watching. If you'd like more information on this glorious paradise, uh, then all you have to do is visit this website. It's visitgozo.com. Bye-bye.